Nos encontramos con el director financiero del Ijua International, un fabricante de cables magnéticos que salió a bolsa en esta casa, en el Nasdaq, hace unas semanas y aquí algunos medios de comunicación, especialmente el Wall Street Journal, ya lo sitúan como una de las OPVs del año y uno de los valores por los que habría que apostar fuerte. Su revalorización alcanza ya el 150% y vamos a desgranar a continuación con su consejero financiero los uh, pormenores de esta compañía. Thank you for being with us. Thanks. Uh, so first of all, I would like to know a little bit more about the company and especially about the wire market. What, what makes it so important right now mm -hmm. that you can expand all over the world? Right, okay. So, so basically, uh, Li Hua International actually is the largest uh, wire producer in China uh, for copper clad aluminum wire and uh, pure copper magnet wire. So, uh, actually the company we're looking for uh, the alternatives of pure copper from the, you know, the new copper from the copper mine. So as you know, China is growing very fast. So the government investing a lot of money into the infrastructure. Uh, so a lot of copper uh, getting involved to that. So um, basically, uh, as the high demand of copper in China and the lack of uh, copper reserves. Mm -hmm. So the copper price is, is going up higher and higher. So a lot of end users feel very uh, stressful by using pure copper. So basically what we do is uh, we're looking for, we're using CCA and uh, you know, the recycled copper to uh, reduce the pure new copper from the copper mine in the market. So basically, to sum up, you know, Lihua is a low-cost provider on wire industry in China. So do you think the, the internal demand in China, it's uh, what it's getting this business going right now and what it makes uh, Lihua International an opportunity for U.S. investors? Definitely. So China actually is the largest consumer of copper in the whole world. Uh, so I, I, let me share some numbers with you. In year 2008, the total consumption in China is 6.6 .6 million metric tons of copper. That's a huge amount. And uh, over 50% of that copper was used in uh, power cable industry. So it's a definitely a large market, huge market. So, and uh, we just, you know, both copper clad aluminum and the recycled copper market in China are still very young. So for CCA, uh, the market was start in year 2005. So actually, Hua was the first company start to use uh, copper clad aluminum to produce uh, magnet wire for electricity transmission purpose. So the market is still young and uh, comparing with the, with, the, with the traditional copper uh, cable market is still very small. And uh, you know, there's, there's a very, very large growth potential. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And we all know we are conscious that uh, the world economy has been through a downturn, mm -hmm. uh, especially here in the U.S. Uh, the U.S. economy has been beaten down for, for the last year. Uh, do you think this, this uh, crisis has been an opportunity for the company also to grow and to be able like, to look internationally? Uh, so what I can say is, you know, China is the largest country for, uh, for you know, the copper demand. So, and, uh, you know, I spoke to a lot of people, in, including, you know, uh, institutional investors, bankers, and everybody's talking about China will bring the whole world out of the recession of mm -hmm. economy. So, basically, I think, you know, the, the, the strong demand in China will make the company keep growing in the future. And what are the future, immediate future plans for, for Lihua right now? Uh, maybe uh, you have been uh, noted, you know, we, we just had a press release, you know, we add up uh, four high-speed uh, lines, which uh, increase the wire production capacity by 50% on recycled copper and, uh, you know, 20% on copper-clad aluminum. So we still, you know, the, the demand for our products is very high because, you know, we are the first company, we have proprietary technology. So, and, uh, so we can provide the best quality of, you know, these alternative uh, products to pure copper. And, uh, you know, people, you know, we, 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 we own a lot of, you know, big customers in China, including Chinese uh, listed companies, you know, the top 500 uh, companies in China. 
Yeah, so that's all because, you know, the, the, the good quality of our products. And um, you guys launched uh, your IPO here a couple mm -hmm. of months ago, actually in September. Yes. Um, I would like you to evaluate how has been the growth for these uh, last uh, uh, weeks here, like in the Nasdaq. Well, so firstly, you know, I'm very excited, you know, Liva performing, you know, the number one IPO in, the, in this year to date. Uh, so everybody is working hard to get that done. And, uh, you know, we are, we are proud to be with Nasdaq. And which message uh, would, you, would you tell to U.S. investors and investors all over the world to attract them to, to buy Lihua? Well, so still, you know, I want to give some numbers. If you look at the, 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 the financial statements of Lihua in the past three years, you know, the growth of this company is, has been over 50%. And uh, from, that's from 06 to 08, you know, we use the organic money from ourselves, general from the profit. And now we are listed on NASDAQ. We went public in US, so we are able to, uh, you know, we, 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 we just had an IPO, we raised some money, we add up capacity, so we have, you know, high quality products in a very high demands from China, you know, from the market. So I believe this company is going to keep growing. And um, what do you think about some analysts that point that maybe Li Hua's stock is overvalued? Well, again, you know, I want to give the same answer. So the company still have a very, very big potential for growth in the future. So look at, you know, we, we had, uh, you know, we had 11.7 million net income last year and also we, we opened up the recycled copper business uh, in the first quarter of this year mm -hmm. so for the first six months we achieved 10.7 million net income so mm -hmm. you know take that into you know into account you can think about the growth of this company and just uh, a last question why do you think that Chinese companies have become such a big opportunity here for US investors because we have seen that uh, a lot of Chinese companies are doing really well here in the stocks market mm -hmm. in, in the US and I would like to have your opinion uh, about this issue. Right, so basically I think you know investing on stock is basically investing in future, right? You, you look at the company and uh, you think the company is going to grow, they are going to make more money, so that's, that's how people are making their investment. So I think you know China, no doubt China is the, the the quickest growth company in the whole world and there are still big potential you know in the future for China you know like I said you know people think China will will bring the whole world out of the recession so and do you think that maybe we're gonna see in the future a change in world economic leaders maybe US going out and China becoming a world economic leader uh, I don't know, but you know, I think uh, people are working so hard in China, but you know, they try, I, I can say, you know, the government and Chinese people is trying to make, make that happen, but you know, it's still taking time and uh, I hope that could happen one day. Thank you very much for your time. Thanks. Y a los lectores del Economista les recordamos que se den una vuelta por www.eleconomista.es y también por el Nasdaq www.nasdaq.com.